you will never lose. Hey, have you seen this whole city? You see, are you? The whole bastard city loves you. Dana, Dana White said, how can you not like Molly McCann? He did, he did. But the thing for me was, right, I look. I knew my shoulder was about to pop, so I thought, oh, I can't be out for a year. Well, you be be more, you can hear me as well, when you be double, you be done. of the team, not just my achievements, but everyone who's helped me get there. And um, we know how to throw up our uh, scatter. Yeah, 3 nil up the fucking toughers. <laughs> Everton's just won, so Ellis isn't going to punch me either when she gets home. <laughs> 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 hey, can we wait for me, mum? Hey, lad, look, you're Neo Bab. Hey. <laughs> what do you think, mum? It's Bad. fucking heavy. Look, a little gay dance floor for me. Woohoo! <laughs> Right, well, you call us. Oh my god, they've got a fucking. Uh, you know, you're in Liverpool, no right? Way. When you've got a smoky pen vendor. That's where we're at right now. I love it. How do we get it? Welcome to my party. You're not allowed in. You get so not Couldn't be prouder of her, you know what I mean? She's gonna be very disappointed because of our performance went, but she shouldn't be, you know what I mean? She fought one of the best grapplers in the world. That girl's gonna be fighting for the belt in about two or three fights, so it's nothing to be ashamed of. And I know that chat's how she feels at the minute, because I'd feel exactly the same, but we're in the 0.001% in this world, and no one will ever understand what it's like to be in our position. I'm like the only other person in this whole place who'll get how she feels, and you know, as I say, she should be fucking proud of herself. Doesn't matter what the result is, it's the hard work that you put in leading up to it. And don't worry, I'm gonna get that one back for her next week. I'm gonna fucking knock Jared Gordon clean out. Sorry, I didn't do that. You've done every other part in that first I don't really know how to put it into words, just how incredible she is and how in awe I am of her and how amazing the people she has around her and how she touches whether it's the little kids in the football team or you know the little kids in the gym or she don't care where you're from what you've got she just wants she just wants everyone to lift everyone up you know I love it such a beautiful spirit does she inspire you in your life? Absolutely, absolutely. To keep going and to keep overcoming and to, you know. She does. Like, what's what, you know, the loss that she's just suffered, you know what I mean? That's why we're all here, because we all want to, we all want to help her and we all want her to get past it and on to the next thing and, and, you know, we all know she will, anyone who knows her, knows the spirit of it, knows the determination that, like, you know, she learns from her mistakes like we all do and, you know, she will be more, you know, gunning than anyone. 
do you know, to, to put it right, and we all know she is, and we're all here for her, thick and thin, win, lose, do you know what I mean, like, do you know, look at the turnout tonight, everyone's having a great time, and that's, that's not just, you know, you don't do that for people who aren't genuine, do you know what I mean, Molly's as genuine as they come, and, you know, she's amazing with me, and my, supporting me in my career, and, you know, like, to be honest with you, I fucking don't even like UFC, it's only because of Paddy and Molly, do you know what I mean, like, that, like, you know, you're looking at two people from, from your own background, your own city, and they're out there fucking global superstars, like, you know what I mean? It's just it's just an amazing thing to, to to be around and witness, do you know what I mean? And I'm just so, yeah, so fucking proud of it. And she knows I am, she knows we all are. I'm always proud of Molly. Like, um, people aren't judged about whether they win or lose fights, anything like that. They're judged upon the people that they are and how they affect everyone around them, the sort of character that they carry, the way they deal with losses and defeats. You know what I mean? Like, they're the things that make me proud of her. She's pulled herself up from nothing into a, a superstar. I couldn't be prouder of her any, uh, any moment in, in my life. You know what I mean? I'm so proud, I'm always proud, I've been proud since day one and I'll be proud forevermore. She means the world to me and I'm a sister so I love her to death. Like literally like I couldn't be more proud of the way she handles herself. She doesn't need to prove herself to anyone, she's like literally smashed it. She inspires me little boy as well, a little nephew called Freddie and he like absolutely idolises her. You've got to take into account that I'm Molly's uncle. I've known her since she was born. And if you ask her, she'll probably tell you I'm Molly's number one hype guy. Right? right? It's beyond the words of proudness. There is no words for proudness. Do you get me? I mean, I'm going back to when this kid was eight years old and was telling me what she wants to do in life. And I'd constantly be saying to her, yeah, you can. Yeah, no, don't worry. Yeah, you can do that. Hard work, dedication. And look what she's done. There's no way for proudness, mate. She knows who I am to her, and I know who she is to me. But for the for the general world out there that don't know who I am, I'm just some fat ball guy. Right? I'm the fat ball guy that changed their nappies. I'm the fat ball guy that took her to school. I'm the fat ball guy that made the breakfast. I'm the fat ball guy that drove her to the gym the first time. I'm the fat ball guy that told her she could when everyone else said she couldn't. And I'm still the fat ball guy that continues to do so. And proudness just, it's not even in the lexicon of what I am of her. She's done everything she said she's wanted to do in life. She's probably still got more to do, that's your Italian if you speak to me yourself. But for me personally, what more could you want? You know, you want your kids and your, your grandkids and, and your nieces and your nephews, you want them all to do well in life. And when the kids and they say, I want to do this, and you're like, yeah, of course you can. You know, you never, you never think that they'll get to that point. But with her, I always did. I never had doubts with her, ever. And I still haven't. And she has her ups and the downs. So her journey will be the Michael Bisping journey of MMA. And she will get a world title. And she will make the city more proud of it than she already is. But to me personally, it's beyond pride. Is it a weird feeling in some ways when you've kind of brought somebody up, you've nurtured them, and then they've blossomed into this person, this character that now all of a sudden you're taking inspiration from? Oh, totally. What's that like? Oh, mate, it's amazing. It's amazing. I don't know whether you've got kids, right? When you have kids, you'll understand. When you're, you know, she's my daughter to me, right? Me, me. A mum, my sister, you know. Uncle John told me everything. <laughs> <laughs> and my left hook. No, he did. He told me everything. And all his mates used to fucking 
throw me my money to go and buy the equipment because we didn't have none back in the day, did we? Yeah. And you used to tell me I could do anything I wanted. And he always said to me, there's always, always someone bigger and better than you don't ever get complacent. Okay. Uncle John! Uncle John! Uncle John! Uncle John! I love you, kid, and I am so proud of you and everything you do in life. <laughs>